What are you the most scared of when it comes to your relationship with Emma? Um, well, since her Alzheimer's diagnosis last year, um, you know, time is precious now, so I suppose my biggest fear is worrying that she's going to forget who I am, especially seeing as I don't get to see her as often as I would like. En zij weet zelfs, ondanks dat ze twee jaar al door ben gegaan, uh, stappen met de chat de chat die ik nog niet heb gehad, dat zouden we in de derde cursus gehad hebben. Oké. Okay, okay. Dat ze zo naast elkaar lopen, zeg maar, dat hebben wij niet gehad. Oké. Okay, so. Okay. so, I was born in Holland in 1969. Both of my parents are Dutch. And I wasn't even two years old yet when my dad was offered a. Uh, uh, some work in Canada, and that uh, took my mum and my dad and me over to Canada, and for the first time for him to get some work there, I think he had worked for about 18 months to two years, and in that time, my brother Gerard was born in uh, 1971. Uh, when dad's work in Canada finished, uh, they both moved back to Holland, and uh, but he missed Canada too much, and my parents both really enjoyed the Canadian lifestyle, so decided to move back for good in 1975. Uh, where my dad started working for the Canadian government. And uh, then in 1976, my sister was born, my little sister. And uh, they stayed in Canada for many years, but their plan was always to retire back in the mother country. So when the two oldest kids, my brother and I, were out of the house, my sister was 12 at the time, they decided to move back to Holland uh, for good. And uh, yeah, that... Uh, that it was hard for my sister at the time because she was just entering adolescence and found it difficult to adjust to learning and having an education done completely in Dutch. So she uh, needed a lot of tutors and stuff to help her through her school school years and uh, was actually held back a year, which was kind of tough. But yeah, she's, uh, she finished all of her education in Holland and, uh, and is still living there. And then uh, my mom remained in Holland, but my dad, after many years and after splitting from my mom, decided to go back to Canada after all. So I now have a brother who's still in Canada, a mom and a sister in Holland, and I live in the UK. Do you like that Oma gave me the necklace? I love that she gave you the necklace because she's given me a few little pieces of jewellery over the years. So the fact that she was able to give my child, my daughter, something that meant something to her was... Uh, Really cool. Oh, well, I got Hubble on here too. Look, Hubble's on here too. <laughs> oh, poor thing. I think my grandma knew that going to me would mean more than if she had left it to my mum because me and my grandma just have this. I don't know, it's kind of like a special connection that my sister doesn't have with her and my mum has so much of her stuff already and is probably going to be left a lot more after she passes and I think my grandma just wanted to give me something to kind of signify our relationship. But I guess if you look at it from um, maybe like a superstitious or religious kind of view, it's I guess I kind of believe that me wearing it does keep my mum safe when she goes to work on the planes. At the moment I don't plan on having kids, but if I do then yeah, I'd, I'd probably pass it down. What is hardest about the distance between you and your family? The hardest thing is uh, with family living in Canada, family living in Holland, and me having my own family here in the UK, um, just not being able to drop in and have coffee or celebrate everybody's birthdays and be there for that, and also kind of having to decide if I have some vacation time, who, who I'm going to spend that with. I kind of have, have to make that decision to split my time and be with one for one event or, or holiday and another family member for another. So. Yeah, that's difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, I I Yeah, like I said, a few a few things that 
jewelry that I've maybe mentioned over the years that she's worn that I liked, you know, now that she's uh, she's older and doesn't wear it as often, she's passed it on to me. Um, but one thing in particular was really special, and that was uh, my great grandmother, so my granddad's mum, uh, who we called Oma Vickers. She uh, immigrated to America for a few years when uh, when she was younger, before she had my grandmother, and uh, and she actually acquired a gold sovereign ring there, and uh, it ended up getting passed down to my mum through her mum, and then my mum gave that to me about 20 years ago, 25 years ago. So I still have that, and that's kind of a link from my mum, my grandmum, and my great grandmum, which is really kind of cool. Ah, ik dacht dat Benny twee meisjes had. Nee joh, dat is precies andersom. Oké. Okay. Ja, nee, en de ene is hartstikke... Maar, maar Benny is, is, is toch weer, um, uh, gaat toch weer trouwen, of niet? When she would come to visit us, um, every night we'd kind of... Like me and my sister would have cuddles with her and she would tell us stories about like her past and what my mum was like when she was little and all the ho- different houses that she lived in. Um, and there was this one time that she told us about the house that she lived in for a day and it was just, yeah, it's really interesting to hear all about that. <laughs>